Hey guys, this is Andrew with How It Works. Just wanted to show you how to fix your Zune to where you can update it, restore it, be able to put the applications on the Zune HD as well as being able to tweak your Zune software to get back those hidden tabs that Microsoft just decided to kill away. So, uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure your Zune is unplugged, make sure the Zune software is closed out if you have it installed, and also make sure that you download the 7-Zip program install it and make sure that you have it which is going to be listed under under the description below and also download my zoom package which is going to be under the description below on the video so if you don't mind just taking a couple minutes just to do that um, the next thing that I want to present to you is the zoom package itself what what comes with it what what to expect from it so the first thing that you're going to see is Zune Functions. Just going to get straight to it. Zune Functions basically gives you the Zune firmware, the program that's going to tweak your computer to make it uh, think that it's the Microsoft server, making it to, to where it will force update your Zune. Also the applications that comes with it, as well as the host file. The next thing is the instructions. So the instructions lists the original uh, video that I learned from and it will teach you how to uh, get through this stuff in case if you you know get stuck on my video so basically this guy is knowledgeable he's great please subscribe to him donate to him if he has a donation and uh, you know in case if you get stuck please watch that video next thing zoom reg edit this is the tweaking um, part where it will make the zoom software work now the problem with this is that I have not found a permanent fix for this um, so you know, every time you close out your program, make sure that you go back and you click on this particular file to re-enable the, the hidden tabs because they're not going to keep showing up every time you close out and, clo and open up the Zune software. Um, I don't know how to fix it to where it's permanent, but uh, eventually, hopefully, somebody will find out. Please comment below. Make sure you tag me on it so that I can be able to, uh, you know, put a s extended video on how to do that. Um, next step is Zune themes. Um, so this is for people who wants the bonus content. This is the official Zune wallpapers for Windows 7 and Windows XP. Now, for anything that's Windows 7 related, uh, it will work for 8, 8.1, and 10, and 10 anniversary, and then probably maybe later down the road any other Windows future updates. Um, the only thing is, after 7, I don't think the sound will carry over. Uh, so like the extra sound theme. Uh, you know, uh, sounds <laughs> will actually work on uh, later windows. Um, so just, uh, you know, enjoy the wallpapers, if anything, and, uh, you know, please feel free to leave any comments below on that. Now, what you see here is a zoompackage.exe. Now, this is officially downloaded from the Xbox website. Feel free to run everything through virustotal.com. It, it will scan everything. All, you will always find my software clean. And, uh, you know, my point here is to have a good reputation. So please, again, if you have any any questions or doubts, please uh, comment below. Um, please, you know, feel free to do anything. So the zoompackage.exe um, allows you to be able to um, run the this, this sync software for the Zoom. That allows you to copy your videos, your your apps, your, your everything else to the actual Zoom. So like music, anything. So um, you're going to install that. Then once you get it installed, it's going to automatically open it up. Make sure you close it out, okay? Next step is once you close out that software, make sure that your Zune is, uh, your Zune is not plugged in. And make sure you go to Zune Functions, go to Zune Firmware, and then go to Abyss Web Server. Now this is super important because you're going to need to install this. This is the software that's going to trick your computer into thinking that it's connecting to the Microsoft server that Microsoft no longer even has and exists. So once you install that, the next thing you're going to see is local disk C, which is going to be here, and you're going to see the directory for Abyss Web Server. Now what this does, it makes it to where it does this. It lists this under a made up IP address. So here, it's going to have the firmware files to update and restore your Zune. So it's going to trick the Zune software to where it will update itself and update the Zune along with it. So moving forward, 
Abyss Web Server, what you're going to want to do is go to htdocs, clear out anything that's in inside this folder. For, for me, I've already put the correct um, stuff in here, which I'm going to show you where to find those particular files, the firmware files. And before you start copying things over, there's one thing you definitely need to know how to do and it's something that you need to do as well. First of all, you, you need to close Windows Media Player, the Zune software, Windows Media Center, Skype, and also um, what is known as SkyDrive slash OneDrive. They are both the same thing. You've got to close these Microsoft services out or this will screw it up. So, go on, on to part two. We're going to then copy these files. Remember, go to local disk C, go to Abyss Web Server, and then go to HT Docs and copy and paste it. Now, if, if, it, if everything looked correct, what you would do is go to um, your web browser, which could be Google, uh, you know, Microsoft browsers, Edge, Internet Explorer, uh, Firefox, you name it, whatever browser that gets you on the Internet, um, go and use this. So, for instance, I use Opera, so I'm putting in at the top, it's going to be 127.0.0.1. This lists all the stuff that you're going to need to be able to update your Zoom and restore it. So if it looks exactly like this, then you did it correctly. So if you're not getting this, you're going to need to do a reboot, close Skype, close, you know, Windows Media Player um, out, Zoom software out, um, Media Center out, and OneDrive down. Um, so once you clear out all of those services, try putting it in again, making sure that best web server is running. If it's running, great. If you're getting this, perfect, you're good. All right, now moving on. So, once you get this, you're going to then need to go to uh, the Zune folder, which I put it on my desktop for quick access. Go to Zune Functions. Go to, I'm sorry. Yep, Zune Functions. Yep, Zune Firmware. And then go to Part 3, Host Files. Now, I'll create a little shortcut for you guys who has your uh, local disk C as default. Uh, anybody else who has their um, you know Windows operating system installed on other drives uh, just please uh, be mindful that this shortcut is um, most likely not going to work um, but still give it a try see if it takes you right to the host um, file so I'm what you're going to do is right click on host copy it click on this link and it's going to take you exactly to where you're going to need to paste it under the Windows um, you know directory folder and the system 32 this is like you know technical stuff so just make sure you don't venture out of this um, and copy and paste the host file right in here so once you paste it make sure you replace it and then you should be all set so for instance because I've already done it I don't need to do it again if it's not broken don't you don't need to try to fix it so I'm gonna close it out and so you pretty much did part one, part two, part three. Now if you're seeing this, then you're good. The next step is being able to make sure that the reg edit files um, is uh, been, been enabled. So if you already installed the Zoom software, you already followed part one, part two, part three, this is technically my part, which is part four. Make sure you double click this. This is going to enable the hidden features inside the Zoom software that Microsoft did away. After you click OK, it's going to enable those features. It's going to be a lag at the beginning whenever you open up the Zune software. Hence, do not plug in your Zune or your Zune, uh, turn on your Zune software yet. Okay, now moving on. The next thing we want to do is go back to Zune Functions. Okay, Part 5. So, Part 5 is basically the applications. What you're going to need to do, you're going to need to right click and you're going to need to click copy so you're now you're going to copy this folder which is called applications venture back to the local disk C venture to users 
venture to Andrew. Oh, I'm sorry, your username. For instance, mine is Andrew. Then what you're going to do, you're going to then on right next to the left side of the space bar, hit Alt, then hit T as in Tom, and then O as in Oscar. What you're going to need to do is go to View under the tabs, go down to where it says Hidden Files and Folders, Bubble, Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Uncheck Hide Empty Drives in the, in the Computer Folder. Uncheck Hide Extensions from, I'm sorry, for known file types. And then uncheck Hide Protected Operating System Files and then parentheses recommended. So, once all of it looks like this in my video, then you're good. Hit apply, then hit OK. Okay? Now you're going to see a little folder called app data. Remember, it's not application data, it's app data. So what you're going to do is then double click on this, go to local. Then what you're going to want to do is find Microsoft. So once you find Microsoft, then you're going to double click on Microsoft folder scroll all the way down and then you should see Zune. Double click on that. Imagine that my applications folder is not here. You're going to see our catch firmware updates, transcoded files catch, da downloaded store dot uh, dot dot and then and then you're going to see Zune store dot SDF. Alright so you're going to not see any um, applications folder. What you're going to do is right click click paste and for instance because mine's already here then you know of course I'm not going to repaste it so or merge it so it's there that means you can now uh, connect your Zune and that means you can launch your Zune software and it's going to look like this so wait for it it's going to be a lag it's going to say features changed. It should. All right, there we are. So I just replugged my Zoom back in. Sorry about the noise. It's going to say features have changed. So that means you're going to get to see the marketplace, social device, disk, podcast channels, apps, tabs. This is all the tabs that Microsoft did away. They don't want you to be playing with this stuff anymore. They wanted to kill it off and make it make it gone. What we just did is re-enable re it. This stuff is still useful, still to this day. So, we're going to go down to Zune. It's going to say required updates. Of course, it's not going to show it here. But let me see if I can pull up in the video here. One moment. And it's going to look like this. Today I'm going to be showing. Okay, give me one moment. And uh, required up. So it should look exactly like this. If it says required update, then that means your Zoom is able to update itself because you followed every single step correctly. Once you do that, then you will click change sync settings under the summary page which is again located by default this is what you're going to see click on your device down here you're going to be at the summary page because I've already synced my stuff up with my computer it's going to show it right here on, on this tab um, if you have any questions feel free to watch the video follow along with it again if you have any questions um, please rewatch the video um, that that's also in the folder and then if you're still stumped if you have questions again please comment below help each other please stay steer clear of trolls please help each other this is 